Yeah, so hydroponics is essentially a way of creating the perfect environment um, in the water conditions for the plants to feed the nutrients directly to the roots, eliminating the need for soil um, and utilizing that nutrient-rich water solution to provide the exact um, nutrient slurry or smoothie, if you will, uh, directly to the plants. So my name is Derek Baker. I'm the Senior Industrial Design Engineer here at Freight Farms. So Freight Farms was founded officially in 2010. Uh, initially, we were looking into ways to bring farming closer to the community it was serving, and we're looking at ways to make that a more accessible uh, option for people, and the container was just a perfect vessel. Freight Farms is taking steps to essentially make farming as accessible as possible to just really anyone. Um, no green thumb experience, no background in farming, um, not even tech savvy. We are essentially trying to build a product, a system, um, a protocol, a resource that will allow anyone to get into this farming industry and be able to activate people and spaces that were underutilized. So Freight Farms focuses on creating hydroponic uh, equipment for any person. Uh, we pair that with uh, software that allows you to operate that equipment. So what the customer is going to be getting when they have an experience with Freight Farms is essentially our Greenery S product, a all-in-one, essentially plug-and-play system for the user to purchase, quite literally, a farm in a box with the irrigation systems, the climate control systems, the uh, lighting systems, the workflows, um, all built into that product. So that all they have to do when the farm arrives, have a place to put it, plug it into water, plug it into electricity, connect it to the internet, and you're ready to grow. So the link between farming and climate change has to do with the way that we're treating the earth. Um, I mean, deforestation to create farmland, drawing all the nutrients out of our, our soil and really depleting the natural resource that is the land um, is incredibly detrimental to the earth and, and the quality of food that's able to be grown in that earth. The water usage in traditional farming is relatively unsustainable unless you put a lot of money and technology into directly bringing that water to the plants. But traditionally, you'll see sprinkler systems, um, just sort of mass water systems that will irrigate an entire area. So what Free Farms is trying to do is essentially remove that from the equation, remove the need to pull nutrients from the soil um, and being able to provide them in a different way that, that allows the soil to regenerate. So we can continue to do farming traditionally, but in the spaces we have and really bring the nutrient composition back to that land by allowing it to regrow. So our system is incredibly water efficient because we are a closed loop cycle. We're taking that same water, applying nutrients to it, directly uh, applying it to the plants, to the root of the plants. Any water that's not consumed by that plant is returned to our system to have nutrients added once more and then returned to the plant. So only water we're losing is water that's consumed by the plant. And in our system, our uh, Greenery S, we're utilizing anywhere between zero and 10 gallons of water a day. And that's really dependent on your humidity which we're able to recapture and replenish our system with as well. So we're not losing really any water except for what we're delivering to the plants. I think the future of agriculture comprises of a ton of different things. Um, I think we really, as uh, freight farms, as a hydroponic farming system, are really just a piece of that. And we're looking to fit into the puzzle that is the future of agriculture and figuring out a way to eliminate you know, the food miles and all of the hurdles that pe people experience between them and their food. What does food mean to me? Food. It means community, it means people, it means, from an engineering sense, sustenance, uh, fuel, um, but food is the facilitator for life. I mean, food is what we all gather for, um, and hopefully we'll all gather around the mission to bring farming to the 21st century in a way that doesn't impact our planet.